<laughs> What's going on, Dallas Fort Worth? This is Dwayne down here at the Platinum Music Complex, man. And tonight we are joined by Little Green Men. Hey! So maybe you guys want to introduce yourself and uh, tell them a little bit about your band. I'm Andrew Williams, guitar player. I'm Motown J. Robert, and I play bass and sing back up. And, if, and for any of you guys out here, local, that haven't seen these guys in concert, man, you need to go. They put on a great show. They're Man, they're awesome at what they do. So you guys want to go check them out for sure. So uh, so what you guys, how was uh, 2017 for you guys, man, with your shows and everything? It's pretty good, pretty busy. Yeah, it was very busy. Yeah? We, we had some good shows. We, we had some real good shows. We uh, opened up for Inbrae Momstein at the Gas Monkey. I was Live. there. Oh, it man. was awesome. That was a fun show. It was awesome. Heck yeah. Man. Yeah, so, so what you got in the books for this year? Any big stuff coming up? Right now we're uh, headlining a uh, uh, birthday show next uh, Friday at uh, The Rail uh, for our singer's birthday. And uh, we've got five bands on the bill. That's the next big show coming up. And then uh, we're doing a Stumpy's thing February 3rd. Um, and we're doing a couple dates out of town. We've got Houston and San Antonio in March. Nice, nice. And we're kind of working on... Uh, 2018 is the 25th anniversary of Little Green Men, and so we're working on a kind of a compilation CD of some of our older material and we're going to write some new material. We're going to try to have that out. So how many How many years? 25 years. 25 years. That is so awesome, man. <laughs> that is really awesome. It's been fun. That's, that's awesome. So is he one of the original members? Yes, I, I'm the original, yeah. the lone original member left, but uh, we were uh, started out kind of as a three-piece, uh, did a lot of rush. And, um, Put out two albums uh, with that lineup, and then got together with this beast over here about 2002, yeah, 2001, 2002, somewhere around there, and then um, joined up with our drummer and the singer about 2003, 2004. So the current lineup has been together for 13, 14 years. Dude, now. that is awesome. Really that's, awesome. that, that's hard yeah. to do these days. Oh, yeah. It really is. You gotta have that right mix of people that get along. You really do. You, know you really do. <laughs> and man, tell us about the lineup. So we got Little Green Men, Blackout, Legacy. Yeah. Texas Mud. Texas Mud. And uh, Judy Moon, Rock Judy Moon. Man. man, guys, this is gonna be an incredible show at the rail. It's gonna be an awesome What's show. What's the date again? January 12th. January the 12th. Yeah. We, we've played with Blackout numerous times over the years. Yeah, those, it, those guys have been here. It's always a, a party too. when we have yeah. <laughs> so, man, we're gonna show one of their videos, and uh, what's what's the name of this song we're gonna show? It's called Wrong God. Wrong God. So, you guys enjoy this video. We'll be right back.
else is doing. To refuse would be square. And that terrible label must be avoided at all costs. Come on and take a look. Take a trip from Squaresville. Live a little and see what it's like for yourself. The senses are dulled just enough to be reckless. And we are back here at the Platinum Music Complex. Thank you for joining us uh, with a backstage pass. Tonight we're here again with uh, Little Green Men. Man, so, so tell me, who does most of your writing in y'all's band? He does mostly. He'll, he'll come up with a melody and some different parts and then he'll bring it to practice with him. And usually by the end of the practice we'll have a good solid song between with all of our We all love writing like that. Like right, like that. You know, yeah. with, with our band too, some of our best songs that we've ever done is just just start jamming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then by the end of the practice, we got a killer song. Man, I don't know how it works out <laughs> that way, but yeah. well, just yeah. everybody's influences. By the time you jam on something and everybody takes their direction on something, it usually ends up being. Plus, with us, if if all four of us are satisfied with it, it's it's pretty good. Right. You know. So, yeah. and and what I like about our stuff is, you know, so far on, on the five CDs, nothing, no two songs sound the same. We, we pretty much cool. have a, a good, you know, every every single song is, is its own little baby, and uh, you know, I, I like how we don't we don't repeat ourselves. You know, there's some that's awesome. some signatures here and there, but uh, for the most part, every song is its own unique thing. That's another tough thing to do, especially through five CDs. Oh yeah. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. <laughs> that's very impressive. So man, what's what's some of the other stuff you've done out here in Dallas? You know, before Little Green Men. Before Little Green Men, uh, I was. What did I do? <laughs> uh, no, when I, when I first moved here in, from uh, Columbus, Ohio back in 1993, and it was with a band called Wicked. Uh -huh. And uh, we were real heavy, and uh, Pantera was at their peak at the time, so we kind of came down here on accident, and uh, we, uh -huh. our bus broke down, and we got stuck here. So the whole band was from so, Ohio? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. But then, uh, you know, we played the scene around here for a while. We played at Dallas City Limits, Smoking Dave's. On the rocks. I love and, those places. Oh, yeah. And Miss them. Uh, Savvy's yeah. basement and uh, yeah. Club Mongo's, of course. And when Mongo opened his club, we were the house band. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And then uh, that band broke up, and then uh, I got in a, another band called Dead Eye. And that lasted a few years. And then I just did a couple of here and there projects. And then, but then I joined Little Green Man in 2002. So that's, that's been, awesome. Yeah, almost Good 16 team. years now. Yeah. yeah. So, so what influenced you to want to start playing bass? Well, I, that kind of happened by accident, too. <laughs> That's the story of my life. <laughs> Good accident. <laughs> Before I got into Wicked, I was playing drums in a different band. Oh, wow. And I was playing drums and singing lead. And then uh, the Wicked kicked their bass player out. And they were, I was already best friends with these guys. My roommate was their drummer. And uh, they were like, man, why don't you start playing bass with us? Yeah, we, <laughs> You know, like every so often they practice at my house, and so every so often their bass player didn't show up for practice, so I just sit in, play some easy stuff, you know, just jam around. It. Very so cool. The joke with bass players is they couldn't play guitar, so they yeah. right. <laughs> no, he, he probably could play guitar too. I gave up. I sold my drum kit. I got a bass rig. Joined Wicked, and very cool. It, it was really cool. So, so, who's been some of your influences? I, uh, I'm a huge Rush fan. I mean, my oldest son's middle name is Lifeson. Nice. So I just I I've always liked their technicality and their intellectual, uh, you know, lyrics. That's that's probably my number one band. And then we're well, definitely growing up. I'm a child of the '80s. The you know the Ozzy, the Van Halen, Iron Maidens. You know, huge influence. Oh yeah. And then now you know I'm, I'm big into you know Dream Theater is is the best right now to me. And then I like bands like Stone Sour and, and Slipknot and some of the heavier stuff. And um, I've been sevenfold those kind of bands and. You know, guitar melodies and, and vocals, um, you know, dynamic type of bands. It's really what I've been into. As a real nice young mix. player, yeah. I mean, I, we were talking about this the other day. My very first experience with like, wow, I really want to play like that guy. Believe it or not, was Roy Clark because uh, I saw him. Yeah, that's a fast fingers, man. I saw him on <laughs> Hall one night. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and he was he was playing Ghost Riders in the Sky, but he wasn't singing it. He was doing it the the lyric part. On the guitar, I was like, "That is so cool! I want to do that." And so that kind of I first picked up a guitar when I was about four, just kind of played around on it. But I didn't really get serious with it till middle school. Um, about the time my first concert I went to was Iron Maiden at Reunion Arena. And, right on. And I'm in the, 
I'm up in the seats and I look down. I go, I want to do that right there. Yeah. <laughs> so that was that was it. And like I said, those those uh, those bands in the '80s with with the screaming guitars and and uh, melodic vocalists and you know people that can play their instruments really well. That's that's always what I've been influenced by. Well, definitely. Well, that's awesome, man. Well, man, I want to thank you guys for coming out here to Platinum tonight and spend Very some time with us. Yeah, man. Man. Good, uh, can't wait to get you guys. Service. I can't wait to catch that show at the rail. It's going to be awesome. Dallas Fort Worth, if you're here, you guys need to go out there to the rail and go check these guys out. Yeah. You will not be disappointed. Hey, peace out from Platinum <laughs> Music Complex. Come down here and see this man, 2964 LBJ, Dallas, Texas, 75234. Keep rocking, Dallas Fort Worth.